What's going on guys? Um, I just needed to add this little intro to the video. Um, the video will be following this little comment that I have here. Um, basically, I, I forgot to add this to the video, so I'm, I'm making a little intro with it now. Um, I already know that I that I reviewed the Baikal Giant B before, okay, about uh, a month ago, I think it was. And um, <clears throat> I, I've been reviewing a lot of the miners that are near the top. And because the top of the list is so saturated with Kryptonite miners, which I don't even consider any relevance to because they're going to be forked off. Um, you know, I've, I've, the Baikal Giant B kind of fell back under my, my target. So, um, I'm doing, you know, I, I did a really in-depth view of the, um, of the miner that's coming right up after this. So, um, for all you people out there that are going to, Hey, are going to tell me, Hey, he already reviewed the Baikal Giant B. Yes, you're right. I did. I'm just touching base on, on this one again, because it seems to be one of the more, uh, profitable miners right now um, that, you know, that are more of like, I guess, a reality. You know, like I said, the Kryptonite miners, um, I don't even consider them, you know, to be miners because not that they're not miners, of course they are, but, you know, because of the fork, I don't even have any relevance to them. Okay, so here comes the video. What's going on, people? It's your boy Wanzo coming back to you with another video. Guys, I'm over here, um, you know, just doing a little homework, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what, what could possibly be the next, um, you know, not the next big thing, but, you know, what could possibly be the next miner that I might be interested in or something, you know. You know, something to add to what I'm, you know, to what I got going on here. And I'm definitely not, you know, interested in any of these Kryptonite miners, okay? Simply because, simply because if you, if you go to, you know, if you go on Twitter or you go to, you know, the Reddit page, you know, Monero has already said that they're forking these miners, okay? So... I mean, I don't know if people are think you know think that Monero's bluffing, but I mean, I kind of I guess we kind of went through this with Siacoin, where they were threatening to to fork and they didn't. Um, Monero has already set a date. Okay, the date is going to be, um, you know, the the second part, the second half of April. All right, and that's pretty much when these miners. Um, are mostly due. Some of them are even due after the supposed fork that's incoming. Okay, and I just don't want any part of it. You know, this pin, pin, pin idea RR two hundred. That's a, you know, that's a, uh, you know, crypto night. Okay, you also have the um, where the hell is it here? You know, the giant N. Okay, that's also a crypto night. So a lot of these. Miners that have a very high profitability are all kryptonite, okay? And I'm just not willing to take that risk, okay? I don't want a $10,000 brick holding my door open when the spring comes, okay? I literally have a cylinder block right outside my door that I can use. I'll use that to hold my door open, and that shit was free. I found it in the freaking woods behind me, behind my house, um, so that's just my two cents on the Kryptonite miners. It's almost like they're not even here for me. Like I'm not, I'm looking at this and they're not even there. Okay. Then you have, you know, then you have the, uh, you know, the decred miner that it's, you know, it's substantially decreased in profit, you know, per day. But I, I do think that that's in part, you know, to the market being down. Okay. And um, if you go over here, you see the obelisk. Um, I'm going to touch base on that real quick right now. But, you know, obelisk, their first shipments, if you jumped in on batch one back in December, I think it was, you'll be receiving those miners in June. I think that that's very slow. Um, that's probably one of my biggest um, beefs with obelisk 
is that they seem to be pumping these miners out very slow. Okay, they're already on batch four. They just announced batch four like two days ago, and everybody's basically breaking their balls about it. And I would tend to agree. You know, they're on batch four, and they haven't even delivered batch one yet. So, you know, what the fuck? Okay, are you guys just, you know, trying trying to, you know, sell as many units as you can? I mean, because if you pay attention to these things, like I do, um, batch three to, for Obelisk was very, very poor. They only sold, like, I think, like, maybe... I definitely know it was under 20 decred miners. And they sold even less of their Sia miners. Okay, which, if you look on this chart, is down here. Okay, they're already into, like, the seven buck area. All right? And they sold even less of those. I think this is actually really poor on their part. They need to start delivering but product, okay, before you start... Um, you know, launching more and more batches. And not only that, but if you pay attention to the miners, to the batches, there's no difference in the specifications. Okay, they're identical. You know, they're the same terahash, the same watts, the same decibels. Um, it hasn't changed. Okay, like you're not getting a better unit. Okay, a more powerful unit. Okay, um, you're basically getting the same thing but they did increase the price. So now the the price has gone up to uh 1999 I think it was. Okay? And I'm just not I'm not feeling that. Okay? So, you know, you know, shame shame on Obelisk, okay? Cuz they're they're basically trying to, you know, pork a little more out of the consumer. So I so I'm over here doing a little bit of um, you know, digging and I'm, I'm dig you know, I'm trying to figure out as much as I can. And besides, you know, maybe this ASIC Miner 8 Nano here, which I haven't done a review yet on. I am going to. Um, but the units are really expensive. They're like freaking $13,000, okay, for, for a, a Bitcoin miner. Okay, that's really fucking expensive. And you're only going to be making sixteen fifty a day? No thanks. I'm not interested, okay? What I did come across here that looks fairly decent, okay, and I did a little, I did some pretty deep digging on it was the Baikal Giant B, okay. The Baikal Giant B is a multi-algorithm um, miner, okay. Mainly, it does it does five algorithms, okay. Two of them are you know on the poor side, and um, three of them are on the pretty good side, okay. First, you have the decred right here. 11.36 a day at this very moment. And then you have library, which, you know, library credits, which has been around for a little while. Um, you're making, you know, $10.63 uh, a day. Okay. And you also have Pascal, which is a fairly new coin. I think they launched in December. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. So don't, you know, don't hold me to, you know, don't hold me to it. But I think they just launched sometime in December. And um, they're fairly decent at ten dollars and thirty and uh, sixty-seven cents a day, and the you know the wattage is very low, okay. So you know you're not going to be you know burning a lot of electricity. And I laid these um, I laid these miners out up here, which I'm going to go over, okay. Now you can get these miners either directly from Baikal for a premium of thirty-six hundred. Or you can pre-order them at East Shore, okay, for $32.99. Or you can get it from ASIC Miner Mart for $3,100, and they have them in stock, okay. And um, what was I going to say? I was just going to say something about it. Yeah, so you're definitely, and these two vendors are trusted, okay. They're trusted vendors. So according to ASIC Miner Value, the website, you can order from them with confidence, okay. Now let's check this out real quick. I went to um, I went to the checkout here, okay, and I did a um, I purchased one, okay, 
and I went through the whole motions, and it's $3,100, and they don't charge shipping. They ship for free through DHL, okay? So if you buy one of these miners from D, from uh, from ASIC Miner Mart, ASIC Miner Mark, excuse me, it's free shipping, okay? The only downfall is that they don't have any PSUs for, for the unit, okay? And according to East Shore, okay, no, so, you know, stay with me, follow me here. Um, they they recommend the Ant Miner APW three plus plus, okay, as a a a sufficient power supply for for this unit. Now I, I checked it out, okay, and um, the 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 APW three plus plus comes with ten plugs, you know, those ten pins. Um, the Giant B only needs six. Okay, so you're not going to use all of them. You're going to have like four spare. Okay, just so you're aware, um, because there's only six plugs in the back of the unit. Okay, so um, but you also pay shipping with East Shore. It's not a lot. It's actually pretty good. It's sixty-six bucks, and they give you an automatic coupon of twenty bucks. Okay, so you know you're paying you know like an extra three hundred dollars. Okay, overall to buy from East Shore. So, I mean, it's not really a huge, uh, you know, it, a lot more, but, you know, it is a little bit more, okay? And uh, they ship through UPS. So, now that we got all that out of the way, okay, free shipping from ASIC Miner Market and $66 shipping through East Shore, okay? Let's go to the numbers. Decred, okay, I plugged in the numbers for the miner, 160,000 mega hashes. 410 watts, 16 kilowatts per hour, 16 cents, 3% uh, pool fees, and a hardware cost of, I'm going to change this real quick to, to 3204, okay, that's going to be including a power supply, and if you get it from these people, it's free shipping, so there's no shipping added here, so calculate, you're looking at 300 days, okay, to break even okay now I'm gonna do something after I'm after I run through these three I'm gonna show you the all-time highs that these coins were were making you know back in like in uh, in January because you know the numbers right now don't look good on anything because the market is so down okay so Pascal coin all right 40,000 mega hashes 210 watts 16 cents per kilowatt hour, pool fees of 3%, and the hardware cost to 3204. Calculate, you're looking at 900, uh, 295 days. Okay, $10.84 profit per day after you pay your electricity and your pool fees. Okay, and if we go to library credits, 40,000 mega hash, 400 watts of power. 16 cents kilowatts per hour, pool fee of 3%, and the hardware cost of 3204. You're looking at 300 days to break even. Now these numbers ain't bad. If 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 I've been running some Bitcoin numbers like Ant Miner, S9, uh, Watts Miner, I've been using the uh, the Dragon Mint, the Halong Dragon Mint one, and the numbers are terrible. Okay, the break even days are like 700 plus, okay? They're really high, okay? And that's because of the value of the market is just so low. So these numbers should increase, okay, as the market gets better and as it recovers and we get into a bull run, all right? Now let's do some all-time highs here, okay? Starting with, um, with Decred. Okay, now the dates that I'm going to use here are January 13th, okay, which is pretty much like all time, well, it was all time high for like a lot of alts, Bitcoin was an all time high, but mo mo most alts were at an all time high, all right, so let's disable this, and I'm going to add here Decred on that date was 800,000. 775 Satoshis and Bitcoin that day at that at that very moment 
was 14, 5. Now, this is the difference of the bull market, okay? If that were the case, when we return, hopefully, to these numbers, okay, Bitcoin's back up to 15 grand, you know, Decred's recovered, and everything's, you know, on its way up, you're looking at a break-even of 119 days, okay? And you're looking at 27 bucks per day profit, okay? 157 in electricity and your pool fees, okay? Not bad. Pascal, okay? On that day, Pascal was, let me just find it here. On that day, Pascal was 38,000, okay? 38,887 Satoshis. And Bitcoin was 14.5, all right? Calculate. This looks really nice, okay? 46 point, you know, 40, 46 days to break even, 47 days. You're looking at $68 per day, okay? 81 cents in caught in electricity and your pool fees. Now, let's do library credits, the last one here, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's fix this. <clears throat> On that day, library credits was... was 8,349 Satoshis, and Bitcoin was 14.5, okay? Library credits, break even, 52.4 days, okay? You're looking at $61 in profit, 158, well, 154 in electricity, and your pool fees, okay? This is the difference of a bull run, okay? And in my honest opinion, I think library credits and Pascal coin fare a lot better because Decred right now, their difficulty, the difficulty on the network is just, you know, through the roof, okay? So it's going to fare bad, you know, it's not going to fare as well. Okay, especially, you know, with the release of, you know, of, of all these other freaking units coming out, all right, or th though these units that have already been out. Um, yeah, so that's the difference. That's, you know, what I'm considering. Um, you know, I, I kind of hope that you guys followed me on this little video here um, on the Baikal Giant B. I'm thinking about grabbing one, maybe two. Um, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, get myself around to it. I think I might just do one just to be sure. I don't know um, because, you know, $3,100, I think it's a bit much to, you know, to, you know, I just don't like paying that much. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said before, if you look at a lot of the, um, if you look at a lot of the, you know, the SHA-256 miners, they're really in the dumps. Okay, you know, these and these, you know, these are up here only because, okay, um, you know, the Bitfury B8 is up here and the ASIC Miner um, 8 Nano are up here because, you know, they have a really high terahash. Okay, and, um, you know, they're, you know, they're 40 plus terahashes. Okay, and the numbers aren't even that great. Okay, I mean, and these units are expensive. You know, the Bitfury B8. Um, I can't even get a price on it because it's not a, you know, they don't even have any anymore on the website and it's not listed, okay? But the ASIC Miner 8 is over 12 grand, okay? And um, it's just not, you know, not worth it in my opinion, you know, because Bitcoin is, is you know, it, there, you know if, you look at, if you look at this here, look at the, there it is right here. If you look at the, you know, the list here, you know, everything SHA, SHA, SHA-256, SHA-256, it's way, way the fuck down. You know, Ant Miner S9 at 14 terahash. You're only looking at four bucks a day. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and the other one that, I, that looks, you know, pretty decent is this one here. Okay, this unit's actually on sale right now for 3,500. You know, even that, but even that's not looking that good. You know, so 
I don't know, guys. I mean, you guys tell me what you think. Um, I'm thinking about grabbing one of these, okay, probably, you know, in the next month. Um, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure yet, but I'm definitely not interested in any of these kryptonite miners. And I hope that you guys aren't either because, I, you know, I don't want to see anybody lose any money. And I think that you, if you, if you buy one of these, you know, you're just looking for an ass weapon self-inflicted and that's pretty much it guys let me know what you think in the comments below okay give me a thumbs up if you like my content and uh you know subscribe to my channel if you're not uh if you haven't subscribed yet and also check me out on twitter you know i'm always talking smack on twitter all right guys peace